Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the render settings for Maya. Uh, this is Maya 2022. I'm going to show you the render settings and how to render your scene. Uh, we'll do one frame and when we get the animation going, we'll render multiple frames. And so let's go ahead and get started. In this scene, we just have the last uh, project that we did is the chess set that we modeled. And we're going to go ahead and render it. The render settings are right here. It's the little slate icon with the gear. Uh, or obviously, if you go to the rendering menu set, go to render, render settings is right there. So I'm going to open, the, open these up and move them over here. Here are the render settings. Uh, the first thing that I'd like to do is choose a renderer, a render engine. It's got the Maya software render engine, the hardware 2.0, and the Arnold renderer. Uh, I'm going to stick to the hardware 2.0 just because it's quicker, but the Arnold renderer renders an awesome, awesome uh, render, but it's just a little bit slow. So let's stick, um, just because of the time constraint, let's stick with Maya hardware 2.0. The next thing is to check the path, where are my saving these uh, renders? And in this case, they go to the desktop, to the chess project folder, in the images folder. That's where it's going to go. Uh, the name, chess uh, 04 PNG, and the size. And so let's, we have to keep in mind where it's going, what's its name, and what size it is. And it's all right there. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do is click Apply Output Transform. Uh, file name, uh, right now it's not set, but it's using the scene name. So if I wanted to change it, I could change it to, uh, let's say, chess pieces. And the image format would be JPEG. And so now I can check to see that the file name it did change and the format to JPEG. You choose that here. The next thing is whether you're going to render a single frame, there's two options, or multiple frames. For multiple frames, I kind of like to do this one. Uh, it's got the chess pieces, underscore, and then the number, and then, a, and then the extension. It's name underscore number dot extension it's right there that's the naming convention that we use the frame padding is the number of digits if you're not going to render more than 100 frames then i suggest that you may maybe keep it to two that way it's uh up to 99 it's up to you you can go as many digits as you want and you can see those digits here so let's keep that to two start frame end frame and then by frame is how many frames. For example, by frame every frame, by two frames every other frame, by three frames every third frame, by four frames every, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna just keep it one. Uh, you can skip existing frames, renumber frames to that. Uh, and then the renderable camera. If you have a camera, you choose it here. In this case, I don't have a render, uh, a camera. I didn't set up a render camera. So I'm just gonna choose the perspective view, uh, and then the image size. The presets, there they have a lot of presets here. They have a list of presets. I'm just going to choose full HD 1080, HD 1080, which is 1920 by 1080, and you can see that here. Now, in this case, I'm only, there is no animation, so I'm only going to render one frame. So let's go ahead and change that up here, frame and animation extension. I'm only going to click single frame. And those are your um, settings. Those are your settings. So now, before we render this, uh, I'd like to explain some of these icons. This one is, of course, the grid. You can turn on and off the grid. Uh, sometimes that grid can be a little annoying um, when you're done modeling. But when you're modeling, it's very, very helpful. Let's say, let's turn it off. Then we've got the film gate. And that puts a, a, like a box around your scene. This is what's going to render. Uh, the next one is a resolution gate. And so the resolution is 1920 by 1080. And that is what's going to render. That way you can move your scene accordingly. 
zoom out a bit and um, just make sure that everything will fit in your render. That's the resolution gate. And then two more. This one is the actual white mask. So you can turn that on. This one is a field chart, uh, helpful also like the grid. If you wanted to place stuff in there, um, I'm just gonna turn that off. The next one is the save act, safe action mark, and then the title safe. Any, any action should be kept inside this. Any title or captions, any lettering should be kept inside this. Going on further, it's your preview. This is uh, wireframe preview, shaded preview. This is a keyboard shortcut number four for wireframe. Keyboard shortcut number five is for default uh, shaded preview. Uh, and then number six is textured. I have no textures, so I'm okay with that. Uh, this one is shaded um, wireframe on shaded. And then using the scene lights use all that's number seven using the scene lights there it is and shadows turn off the shadows and on turn them on and off shadows the next one is the ambient occlusion it gives it a little bit it's a little shaded where the crevices are corners and crevices uh, let me turn off the shadow so maybe we could see this a little bit better there's a little bit of shadowing um, in the corners turn on the shadows and then motion blur since there's nothing movement I'm gonna turn that off and anti-aliasing and that's all of the ones that I'm gonna cover for today we're ready to go ahead and render the render button is right here render current frame or of course under the render render right there current frame and let's go ahead and render it boom there it is it's on my other it's on my other window, and there's the frame. Um, here in this window, you get the, kind of like the information. The size is 1920 by 1080. The render is hard, my hardware 2.0. Frame is number one. Render time is less than a second. And the camera is a perspective. And so here we have the scene, and then we can go ahead and save it file save image let's call it uh, render chess set make sure that you choose JPEG and it's going to the chess project under the images folder uh, color managed and hit save if we look at our chess project folder in the images folder there's a rendered uh, image and there it is. Hey guys, go ahead and uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys.